This is Linomia obliqua, a type of silkworm moth that is found in multiple areas of South America, but largely in places like Brazil. Now, the adults really aren't that special themselves. What they're really famous for is their caterpillars. This is the Linomia obliqua caterpillar, and as you may guess from all of those very aggressive looking bristles, they are highly toxic. Like many caterpillars with adornments such as this, if you touch them, it is going to be a very bad day for you because all of these spines are highly venomous. Pretty much all cases of envenomation by these caterpillars are accidental. When people are just walking in the forest, they brush up or put their hand on or something against a tree or a plant and suddenly they are having a very bad time. The venom of this caterpillar is deposited through those spines and it is a very, very spicy venom. The initial symptoms include things like pain and inflammation around the area of the sting, which leads to other symptoms such as vomiting, nausea, and generally feeling like shit. Then it leads to further symptoms like fever, as well as bruising and gangrene-like symptoms at the site of the sting. Now, the main danger of this venom is that it has a bunch of very potent anti-clotting toxins, which means it stops your blood from clotting properly. Now, later and more severe symptoms include things like hemiuria, which is blood in the urine, not good as well as internal bleeding and brain hemorrhaging. Again, not good. The most common causes of death due to this is the said internal bleeding and brain hemorrhaging, but also it can cause quite a lot of kidney failure, so it's kind of a race to see which of these is deadly first. Now, fortunately, fatalities from these are rather rare because it's not the most potent venom. Initially, it does take quite a high dose to have any of these fatal effects. And it's stated that someone needs to be stung between 20 and 100 times, so by 20 to 100 of these different bristles to have any serious effects. However, that does vary widely based on the individual. However, there has been multiple cases, at least 500, where there have been confirmed fatalities from this caterpillar and probably much more due to an unconfirmed cause of death.